Hey, welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. Yes, that's right. We are back here in Riverview. And we are continuing on with our farming here as we uh, finished off our uh, de-stoning of field 17. Uh, the little Massey Ferguson ended up doing quite a good job of it. So uh, we're going to continue on and get him over to... Uh, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Where am I going? I'm disorientated. I'm going this way. Right. Oh, we're going to head over here and we're going to de-stone um, at the other field that's over here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, yes, yes, I'm going this way. That's all right. I was just lost. I'm, I'm disorientated badly. I'm really badly. Um, yeah, we're going to head on over here to where we've just uh, plowed the field in and we are going to um, de-stone this field. So field 13 uh, is the next to be de-stoned. So we're going to do that. And we're going to move the cultivator uh, into the other field as well and get that going. And we're also going to cultivate our grass uh, field on field 15, is it? I think it is. 15 or 16, whatever it is. Anyway, so let's get in and get this done. So, all right. So it's going to bring him into here. Oh, maybe he hasn't finished that. Hmm. I think the other guys just um, had a bit of a meltdown and got lost. Yes. So, right. Need to bring him back. Come on. Get off the rock. Thank you. Right. I don't know why, but it, of course, play has a problem with this, uh, with this particular field. I've, I've always had that problem, but anyway, we should be okay. What we might do is I might just, uh, I don't know, we'll just... Last waypoint, just see if it does carry on. Where's he going? Where are you going? And this is a problem with cosplay sometimes, it just does what it wants to do itself. Ah, uh, no, you're going to do exactly the same thing again, aren't you? Right. So let's just uh, go through here. I reckon I can get him to start about here. Right, there we go. Right, let's go back and get the uh, rock picker started. Okay, so we're going to get him set up with a course as well. So we uh, create job. I'm going to be on this field, thank you all. And we're going to go from there to there. And we're going to open, close. Number of headlands, three will be fine. Uh, actually, because of this field, I'm going to do four because I don't like trust this field. Um, generate for work course. Thank you. Open, close, start job. Okay. He's going to get cracking on that. And we're going to watch to make sure this guy finishes off his job properly. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take over and do this manually because I think I'm going to do a quicker job than what he is. Get rid of the course, get rid of that. All right, let's uh, get cracking with it. <clears throat> now, the reason I'm going to do it this way is I don't want to impede on the rock picker. And as you can see, I uh, know oh that's where we just over sprayed the uh, line from the fuel, so that's okay. Um, we just want to get this done as quickly and as effectively as possible. And sometimes it's actually a lot more efficient and effective to do it manually than what it is to let Courseplay do it. Now, part of the reason for that is Courseplay has to uh, think about its turns and plans it and then reverses and all that sort of stuff. Whereas we can just uh, do things. Uh, with the speed of the brain, um, hopefully, um, do things better and more efficiently. Um, with my brain, well, who knows? Sometimes maybe, sometimes not. But uh, nonetheless, we'll give it a go. He's doing a pretty good job, little Massey, with that uh, Scorpio. So I can't really complain too much about that. I think he's doing a, a pretty good job.
I'm interested to see what he does when he gets some. Um, there. I think, like I said, I think I've already cultivated this field, and I think I'm just doing it again for the sake of doing it, basically. Um, I just can't remember. It's been that long. Um, I'd have to go back through some of the videos and see whether we did end up cultivating it. But it looked like I had the cultivated um, texture on there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's the case all the time. So we'll just... Um, we've done most of the field now anyway, so there's no point uh, not continuing it on. So we'll just finish it off and go from there. I think what we'll do now, we've done that, is I'm going to go screen to the other end. I want to do these end rows a little bit to give it a bit more room for the Scorpio. And then um, we should be in a good position then to uh, let him just continue on. Then from here we'll go to field 15, we'll um, cultivate that in, then field 16 which is our grass field and then we start uh, seeding, although I probably can bring the Landini down and get that started to seed once we finish this field at least. Um, I think we'll do that to get that uh, underway. Oh, the Landini, yeah the Landini is finished with the lime now so I don't think I have any more lime to do so certainly can use be used to do that makes some sense anyway hope you're enjoying the series <clears throat> being back on the farm here at Riverview um, we're uh, we're enjoying being back it's um, our forced hiatus wasn't really necessarily enjoyable um, it was probably good in a way to have a break I, I guess um, but it was very frustrating all at the same time um, with the delays and, and not knowing what was going on and all that sort of stuff and having to chase what was going on. Um, but nonetheless, we, we're up and running. We've been up and running now. PC's been running now for three or four days, uh, full tilt, and um, it hasn't uh, hasn't faulted yet, which is great. So um, we fixed all the couple of extra little bugs that appeared. Um, and if you want to hear the full story of what happened and, and the process we had to go through, um, that's in episode 59 of Elm Creek. I think I went through that. Um, but between getting windows up and running and then uh, having a boot problem, which we ended up fixing in the end, and then having everything working, and then plugging in the steering wheel going, right, let's, let's get started. The steering wheel would firmware wiped it out. So then I had to try and recover the steering wheel. That took that was an effort to try and get that to uh, recover. I thought it might have bricked our $1,000 steering wheel. So as it turned out, we... Uh, the, the reboot, the boot loading procedure from Thrustmaster is actually quite good and it does actually work. It just took a few few attempts, um, but that was good to make sure we hadn't bricked that because that would have been a, a terrible outcome. We would have had to buy a, a cheap and nasty Logitech wheel or something and, and use that temporarily, but um, or until such time as we replaced it. But uh, you know, I do have to worry about that in the end, so that's all good. All's well that ends well there. Um, Anyway, so we're going to get that going. Alright, so we've finished, finished that now, so we can head on over and get the other fields cultivated as well. Uh, actually, no, before we do anything more, he's full. Right, so. Uh, we need to go and empty. Um, because he's uh, full with 10,000 litres of stone. So we'll go put that into the... Uh, lime production facility so it crushes up the stone and produces lime for us and uh, we'll come back and we'll finish off this field when we've done that oh, 
nice and quiet inside the cab of the uh, little Massey here. Probably need to put a front weight on this thing too. Um, actually, can it take a front weight? Is it got a... Um, it's already got a front weight on it. That's just not effective enough. Oh, my Lord. Um, yeah, because it is very light on the steering. Um, even with the rock the rock picker uh, being empty, it's uh, very light on the steering. But that's okay. We'll, um, we'll, we'll continue on and we'll just get it done. Close that off for now. <clears throat> the hill we go. Oh, I have checked as well. We haven't checked the um, the used the used sales. Uh, site yet but um haven't got quite as much money anymore we've we've sort of whittled sound whittled down some of our money but um we are going to sell two tractors to buy one that was the plan um so we'll have a look at that so the landini's here back in the farm so we can we can grab him with the cedar uh if you'll run the cedar and get him going as well so uh we need to pick up all these pallets and get these pallets put away as well they're, they're starting to be getting a bit unruly and I think that that to be done as well so we've got lots of little things to do around the farm at the moment um, so enough, enough to keep us busy that's for sure oh where's the load point there we go right unload the rocks or stones goes all right and off we go head back get him up and running and then we'll grab the landini and get him seeding Really need to smooth that area out there. That's that's really rough going through there. <clears throat> I hope everyone is doing well. We're we're doing well. Half from the family still all being quite ill. Well, most of the family um, but uh, hopefully we're all sort of getting there I'm, I'm coming down with it slowly I think but um, hopefully I can keep myself reasonably immune um, dose myself up on the drugs all that sort of stuff and uh, see what we can we can do but um, yeah we'll see how that goes right I'm gonna see if I can get him to go back to his last waypoint okay Alright, hopefully he'll head on over there. We're going to grab this guy and continue off to get him to start cultivating the next field. As he goes off and he's doing, taking his rock over there. Uh, have to clean up the areas where we've missed both fields. Actually, we've missed some, some stones. I don't really have to, I guess, but I would like to... Ah, oh, look, I don't know. I probably won't, to be honest. Um, but anyway. Well, I think we'll go... We'll do this field first, then we'll do the grass field last. We'll get this one sorted. Okay. So, uh, again, we're just going to come in here, get this done nice and quick with course play. Great job. Okay, generate. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to do... I'm going to do five headlands on this one just to sort of see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to do round. No, I want to do, I keep doing the wrong one. Smooth, isn't it? Smooth. 
There you go. Alright, oh, he's off and running. Okay, so now it's time to uh, disconnect this and go find our cedar. That's it, right there. Right, let's go get some seeding done. Um, I think this one can handle this cedar all right, so we'll get this going. Uh, let's have a look and see what we're going to seed. I'm not going to do sugar beets. Canola? That's, that sounds all right. Let's go do some canola. All right, uh, so we need some fertilizer and some seed. Trigger for the fertilizer is going to be the other side, probably. Okay, and there we go. So we're full up with uh, seed and fertilizer. Off we go. All right, so we're going to do this field in here, field 17 with canola. Get that underway. I'm going to try and uh, rotate the crops a little bit so we're not doing the same crops all the time as well. back connect up the cedar fold him up and then we're good to go all right get in position here all right again we're going to uh get him going with course play uh just because we can basically all right great job and then we go see there we go like that there we go and open close um number of headlands i'm going to do three headlands i'm going to do sharp yes that's fine no actually we're going to do smooth um that'll be fine generate the fill work there we go open start all right and off he goes All right, and seeding away. Excellent. Right, so we've got three three tractors underway with lots of work going on, which is excellent. Um, so uh, happy with that. All right, what's next? The pallets. Let's get rid of these pallets. All right. Um, I think, did I change this back to pallets? Uh, I don't know actually. Let's uh, turn that off. No, I didn't. So I might have put that back to pallets. There we go. Um, we're going to go there. Back to pallets. And there we go. Right. So let's just go grab these and put these away. <clears throat> That's a full load already. Right, from one greenhouse. <clears throat> Maybe I need to produce the non-manure fruit because, um, or produce because it's flying out. It's really making it very quick. That's okay, it just means we're going to have it all stored up. And we can settle if we need to. 
of course. Fabric over there stored up as well. Alright, while we're doing that, I'm going to go see how much uh, lime we've produced so far. 17,000 lime, that's good. Happy with that. Alright, so things are uh, really moving along now. Let's see how much milk we've got. We've got plenty of manure in there we've got to get rid of. We've got 17,000 milk. We need to get rid of some of this manure as well. Um, so we'll have to deal with that. Now, I mean, I don't know. Um, to you sell the manure. Oh, hang on. Buying it? No. Usually we don't pay ourselves to, to put the... Anyway, I could take the biogas. That's fine. Or farm supplies. Farm supplies are selling it for three. See, this is the funny thing. You could go and buy 300,000 litres from the farm supplies, then go sell it back to the biogas and make money. That's, that's quite funny. All right. Um, right, there we go. Oh, I clicked at the honey as well. Oh, that's okay. It's not a loss, really. Trailer full. And trailer full. There's plenty stored up. It's got enough to, to refill the, the hard stand again as you go through. I think it might be time to look at some, some selling of stuff. Certainly might, uh, in fact, what we will do is I'll grab some cocoa, take it up to the dairy while we're um, not doing anything else as well. Um, here we go, cocoa. 51 pallets of cocoa. Wow. It's going to keep us going at the uh, dairy for a while. Right, the other, they're all, all the hired hands are working, so that's fine. Mm. All right. Oh, this is going to grab, actually, this is going to grab the, um, the wool as well. I don't want to grab the wool. So we will strategically place ourselves up here so we don't grab the wool so hopefully that won't grab the wool there all right excellent all right so we got that if we take this up to the dairy i'm going to grab the dairy products and come down Bring them back down from the dairy and then we'll also um grab some more of oh, some more of this fruit i mean look at it all it's just miles of it we really need to get that marketplace up and running so we can use some of this anyway all right we're getting close into this episode so what we'll do is we'll uh this will probably the last episode we do before we possibly look at working on the island depends on what you guys have said in the comments um probably one more episode i may do before then i will see um but yeah so we've, we've got that coming up so don't forget to uh go back to oh whatever it was two episodes ago now uh leave your comments in relation to what you think we think you think we should do with um the island um, we're going to talk we're talking about turning it into a uh, placeable industry area so uh let us know what you think about that idea preferably in the review episode of two episodes back or whatever it is all right why well, have we got no active productions uh let's have a look am i missing sugar again or something um here we go um no we've got 
Why? Oh, we, did we turn it off? We turned it all off. Well, that's why we're not making anything. Right. So I turned it off. That was turned off for the pallet debacle from Giants. Um, so that's okay. We've fixed that now, so that's okay. Um, I'm just going to grab those. That'll be fine. Right, let's go down. We'll... Now let's use the cocoa. All right. Take it all. Take it all. Come on. Thank you, good lad. All right. I'll go down and grab the, uh, the, the, the vegetables and and fruit because obviously tomato is there so we'll grab the fruit and the vegetables and we'll um we'll put that into storage as well <clears throat> all right Take this back, and then by the time we come back, it'll all be regenerated, ready to go for another load or two. Plenty of wool coming out as well, so we've got some wool to put into the spinnery. We've got so much manure, it's coming out the sides. All right, come on. Let's go. Tiggity boo, tiggity boo. Right, let's have a quick look. I do want to have a quick look and see. Um, cocoa bean, yep, sugar. Need some more milk up there, which we've got some more milk to take up there, so that's okay. All right, I want to have a look at the shop as well. I haven't done that yet, so let's have a look at the shop. Um, what have we got in here? Oh, we got another McCormick. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, 355 horsepower, 127,000. Hmm. Almost tempting. Almost tempting. Um, what have we got? We've got this one. Uh, and 300, 270. We could replace the case with the McCormick with 355. Um, how much was it? 127. Um, that is replacing this tractor here. Um, you know what? I think we might do it. Let's. Oh, actually, we're gonna have a look. What's the Massey doing? He's still doing the stones, isn't he? How far has he got? He's only got one more run to do, and then we can probably replace him. Actually. So how are we doing for? I did say we weren't going to no, this in this series we weren't going to use much of the way of a loan. I do have 1.3 million. Man. Um no, you know what? Let's let's take it to 1.5. I know we said we weren't going to do it. But I've changed my mind. Well, oh, repay. So uh go to the shop. Um I got 247. So that's going to cost 127,000. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Um, 355. Uh, we'll set up. Uh, yeah, floats. I like the floats. Um, and I'm going to change the color. I'm really liking this Boakman color, so I'm going to I'm going to go the Boakman again. Uh, 163,000. Okay. Now, I want to uh, actually go into here. I want to go here. I'm going to sell this unit here. So sell that. There we go. Um, all right. Now, you finished. So we're going to take you and I'm going to clean up this little area here. We 
get these little bits here. I'm going to get all the bits, but I just noticed there were some through there. Let's get that. This little bit's here. And then that's it. So, uh, well, and then we'll leave it here. I think what we'll do is um, we'll look at uh, replacing... Oh, no, I might replace this tractor as well. I'll have the money um, from the loan. I think we might do that. I might might replace this one as well. Buy another McCormick. Um, things are on, on special at the moment. Um, and uh, make the most of that. Because um, we don't need uh, huge equipment, but just something a bit more grunt. Um, and this thing certainly hasn't got any grunt, so... I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, what I want to do first, I'm going to quickly have a look. Is there any other fields need to be de-stoned? Um, growth. Uh, no. So at the moment, we don't need to de-stone anything else. So I can just take this all the way back to the farm. Um, we'll sell this and we'll buy another tractor as well. Um, and then that's, that's it. We'll be done. And then we've got uh, three tractors. So we'll have two McCormick's and we've got the New Holland um, and that will be what we go forward with for now and then what we need to do now is concentrate on making some money so we may just take a whole pile of the fruit and that over to the sale point and just sell it um, just to make some money uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that in the next episode we'll see when the next best time is to sell um, normally I think it's December, January, February for, for that. Um, we'll have a look and see what price we're going to get. It may be um, worthwhile as doing it now. I, I don't know. Um, we're about mid-year. A little bit further on. So it's probably not going to be worthwhile. But we'll have a look at that. But anyway, that'll be the next episode. So I hope you've liked the episode. If you did, press that like button or the dislike button. It doesn't matter either way. It just helps us with that, with that algorithm. And of course, um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you hit that subscribe button, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos like this are available on the channel. Uh, don't forget to come and join us on Twitter, Discord and Facebook. The details for those are down below in the description. We'd love to have you come join us and hang out with us, especially on Discord. Um, the more the merrier on Discord, it is a bit quiet generally, but um, I'm going to try and uh, liven it up a little bit somehow. But uh, So feel free to come and join us there. Don't forget, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. See you all later. Bye.